Good morning, guys. <laughs> we are going to Diani. So it's 6 a.m. in the morning. Uh, we are about to call our Uber to the airport. Our flight is at 8 a.m. I'm joining my cousin for her, for her work trip to Diani. Since I'm doing nothing much, I decided to, you know, go with her. So, yeah, she's too camera shy. I don't know if she'd want to say hi to you guys. So, say hi. I will show you on the camera, I promise. Say hi. <laughs> she's such a cartoon but anyway we'll see you guys uh at the airport you're just going to be seeing me throughout this trip because huh, she is a private person anyway see you Uh, so our trip to Diani was as follows we got to Moi International Airport and then we hired our vehicle from there there are people who hire and there are offices which you know do the hiring we hired ours at 3000 per day which is equivalent to 30 US dollars uh, all you need is your ID and your driving license and then you know you do the checkup and the, and the test drive and you get the car so our options were to either fly to Ukunda airstrip or fly to Mombasa and then get our car but we wanted to drive around Mombasa town so that is why we decided to get to the Mo International Airport then we got to the Likoni ferry where we had to you know cross over in order to access Diani so over here you have to pay for the vehicle charges are 130 shillings Kenya shillings for the vehicle i think for pedestrians it's uh, different but once you're in the vehicle you don't have to pay by the way we got here when the weather was so unpredictable and moody uh, it was raining and then sunny all of a sudden and you know it continued like that and we got to Diani uh, and headed to our airbnb which was close to you know major hotels restaurants in Diani and the supermarket the shopping center in short and it was just a walking distance guys so we are in diani we booked an airbnb and it's very lovely um, very nice airbnb over here i'll show you around we just got here it's around 12 uh but our flight was here by and something so we got to Mombasa first and then we hired a car and then we came to Diani so I'll take you through the next few days today there's nothing much to do maybe just a bit of shopping for the house and just you know relax also <laughs> So the Airbnb charges were 8,000 Kenya shillings per night, which is like $80, and that is for two people per night. For lunch. For lunch we went to this restaurant, it's called uh, Piri Piri and true to their name the food had so much pepper including the rice, I had the tandoori fish, it was nice but spicy uh, so if you don't like uh, food that has pepper don't try it but I would highly recommend this place. The fish is really nice though. Mm. 
food prices start as low as 600 Kenya shillings all the way to 1300 which is quite fair for cost I think yeah your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never say hi guys so the weather is actually improving but it's uh, a moody kind of weather as in it rains and then it stops raining gets sunny but good thing it's not cold like at all um the pool is actually under treatment uh, let me show you guys so can't swim i don't know what to do today like at all it's crazy but let's see how it goes yeah so um see you guys later for activities in diani you can take a walk by the beach but you really have to be careful because of the beach boys some are really harmless and others are not so good so just be careful you can also ride a camel. Diani also has very many restaurants to explore, most of which you can find on Google, but here are a few recommendations. You can go to the Nomad Beach Bar restaurant. You can also go to the famous Alibaba Cave restaurant, which is mostly on booking. Coco's restaurant. And last but not least, you can try the Tiki Bar, which was really appealing to me. Hi guys, uh, due to the bad weather that we've been having in coast, I have not been able to vlog much but um, it was a good, let's say, relaxing experience so if you want to relax when it's cold in Nairobi and not really explore the coast, you can come in July or June. So my flight is at 7pm and I have to get ready, okay I'm ready so I have to just pack it then. Leave so 
I'll see you guys uh, when I'll be boarding. Bye. This marks the end of our trip in Diani. Um, this was more of a relaxation now trip, not so much of vlogging. So I couldn't show you guys a lot, but it was good while it lasted. And so, thanks for watching. Bye. Stay tuned. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never so said you felt that way. Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to lose your blue eyes fade away. As you fade away, to fade away cause every time i wake up i feel like it's monday something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain all of a sudden i don't look at anything the same way gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray i'm sorry that i'm so inconvenient okay just let me be me and i'll stay out of your way i can see the way you look at me i'm such a disgrace i never really asked to be brought into this place you wanna love me well then baby have a taste all the highs and the lows no you'll never be the same i don't really want to hurt you but i can't control the pain if you're sticking by my side maybe we could be okay 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 maybe you could be the change i need today i promise that i've never felt this way i really hope that you will choose to